Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Tyler from Reddick Rhino Man, and I was just making my video for David's Fine Gecko's Reptile Contest, so I was up here with my rhinoceros iguana and decided to pick him some mulberry leaves and let him go at it. So, it's a really hot day out here, so he's been out here on the roof almost the whole day. And I had to close it because he was wanted to come check me out. You're not gonna bite me, right? Go eat your food. Put the lock back on there. Come here, buddy. Come on. He was following me around up here right now. So there he goes. It is hot up here. It must be 80 to 85 today. Just touching this thing, burning my hand. So he must be really warm. And if any of you guys know, like, when you try to go out and catch lizards when you're a kid, or even myself, I still do sometimes, I'd have to admit. And once they sit out in the sun all day, they're super hyper, like, a lot quicker and 10 times harder to catch. So that's like how he is right now. He's been sitting in the sun, so he's got all this energy. And he's gonna go out the mulberry leaves. So this mulberry plant actually grows on my neighbors, but it comes up on my side. And as you can see, it is huge. And he loves them. That's actually a fig right there. The one behind it is avocado. That's an apple tree, that's my other neighbors though. I don't go over there. There's a lemon tree, orange tree. Well anyways, I don't know why I did that. But he is feisty right now. He's been looking at me and look at that, he follows me all around. What's up buddy? You don't wanna eat? I gave him some lettuce earlier. I only had one head of romaine which is usually not enough for him, he eats a lot more than that. So I figure I'd throw in a big old thing of mulberry. And he ate a couple of leaves before I started the video. I'm surprised he stopped though. <laughs> I wonder if he doesn't like the camera. I don't think there's a red dot on it. No, it's... Hey. Be nice. He's gonna jump at me. Forget that. <laughs> I'm not gonna open that right now. Why don't you wanna eat, man? Come on. Over here. Come on. There you go. There you go. Why don't you want to eat, buddy? Um, up here on the cage, a lot of you were asking how I cut a hole in the roof without it leaking and how he gets in and out. And that's, that's that rock right there. It's one of those plastic hollow rocks. So what we did was, we set it up here, cut a hole underneath it, and then sealed around it with roofing mastic, which will prevent it from leaking all the way around, and then cut a hole about six inches off of the ground where he could crawl in and out. And I actually need to make that hole bigger because I've noticed he has trouble getting through it now. So, this is my rhinoceros iguana. Still eats like crazy, getting big, and he's ready for some females. So I'm just trying to get my female up to size for him because he's been going crazy. So, alright. Say goodbye. You don't want to say goodbye? Look at his feet, man. They're huge. I didn't know they had such big feet. Must be for digging. Huge back feet with 
His nails need to be trimmed. Which I used to trim all the time, but they're really hard to trim now, obviously, with how his attitude's changed. So, alright, guys. This is my rhinoceros iguana, Rufka. And, uh, take it easy.